everyone, and welcome to this video. Let's learn together everything you need to start using Autodesk AutoCAD 2017 for the first time. Leave us feedback to improve our future guides. AutoCAD is one of the best products used to create 2D and 3D designs and CAD projects. When you open it, you'll be directed to the Start section. Here on the right, you can check all notifications from Autodesk or start a new project clicking on Start Drawing on the left. In the future, when you have AutoCAD projects saved, you can use Open Files to open them, or simply browse directly from recent documents in the middle. Let's just create a new project to see how to use AutoCAD. The general workspace is composed by a huge space used to draw and to show your project. Above, you have all the tools and features available inside AutoCAD that we will see through this guide. Below and on the right, you have the command line and some more useful tools we will see. This workspace is fully customizable. If you go to View Above, you can hide or show elements from your workspace. And on top, you can click on the small icon to size the workspace as you like. Let's start drawing. Inside the Home tab on top, you have all tools used to draw in 2D. If you hover on a drawing tool, you will get quick instructions about how to use it. This is quite useful, especially when starting for the first time. Some of these tools do contain more features inside. In this case, they show a down white arrow. If you click on it, you will have different ways to draw the same kind of object. Use the Line or the Polyline tool to draw side by side. Click on your workspace to fix the first point and a second one to define the segment length. In this way, you will go on drawing segments continuously, so just use the Escape key to stop. The way to draw it depends on the kind of tool you choose from the list. Use the Arc tool to draw arcs instead. Use the rectangle and the polygon tools to draw regular polygons. Use the ellipse tool to draw ellipses. While you draw inside your project, AutoCAD always shows a preview of the object, showing length and angle measurements. The object will be actually drawn when you fix the last point required. Depending on the tool chosen and on the object shape, you may need to fix points distances, or angles. For example, if you choose to draw a three-point arc, you have to fix a first point as center, fix the radius with the second point, and then the third arc angle with the third point. Plus, if you press the Enter key, it will enable you to use the last tool that you used. Use Escape key to undo your current drawing instead. While you draw, you can use snappings to make drawings easier. You can adjust these in the bottom right corner. If you turn on snap mode, you will snap your pointer to the grid points on your workspace. Turn on ortho mode to draw following just vertical and horizontal directions. To turn off, just click on these icons again. You can also use snappings to objects through object snap. This sets snappings to object key points. For example, all vertices and endpoints are represented through green squares, centers through green circles, intersections through green crosses, and midpoints through green triangles. If you click on the white arrow next to Object Snap, you can enable and disable the object snapping as you need. When no drawing tools are enabled, your pointer works in selection mode, used to manage and edit your objects. For example, if you hover on an object, this will be highlighted with a dialog box showing some information like the kind of object and its layer style. If you want to know more about the groups and the layers, check out the related video in this guide. If you click on the object instead, you will select it and this will be highlighted in blue. So you can edit it going to Properties on top in order to change the line color, thickness, and style or add some transparency to it. To delete the selected object, just use Delete key. To cut, copy, and paste it, 
use Ctrl and X, Ctrl and C, and Ctrl and V. If you ever make a mistake, use Ctrl and Z, or use the Undo button in the top left corner. When an object is selected, you can also edit it through its own blue nodes. For example, you can use the central node inside lines, circles, and arcs to move them around your workspace. Use the other nodes to edit length or shape. Plus, if you hover on those, you can check measurements related to radius, length, and any angle of the selected object. There is also a dialog box with options that change depending on the node and on the kind of object. Use stretch to adjust the object shape by moving the blue node. Use lengthen to stretch without changing the basic object shape. Use radius to stretch any radius. That's how lines, circles, and arcs behave. In AutoCAD, you also have another important group of objects, which are the polylines. These are made with the polyline, the rectangle, and the polygon tools. Inside those, you have big and smaller nodes. If you hover on the big ones, you adjust the polyline vertices. Use stretch vertex to move the vertex. Use add and remove vertex to add or remove vertices. The smaller nodes are used to adjust the polyline sides. In fact, these sides can be either straight or curved. Use stretch to stretch the side. Use convert to arc to convert to a curved side. Unlike lines, circles, and arcs, inside polylines you don't have any centered node to move them directly. To do so, you have to use the move command inside the modify section on top. You can use this tool in two ways. You can select the object first and then enable the tool, then just click and drag to move. But, you can also enable the tool before selecting any object. In this case, your pointer will turn to a small square. Select all objects to move. Apply with the Enter key, and then click and drag to move. Under the Modify section, you have other tools to edit your 2D objects. Check out our next video to know how to use these. In case you want to edit more than a single object at the same time, you can select more of them and then apply your changes. Click on your objects one by one to select them. In this case, a plus sign appears close to your pointer. To deselect an object, just click on it by holding Shift down. You'll have a small minus sign in this case. To select lots of objects, you can use the lasso selections. Just click and hold while dragging. If you drag from the left to the right, you will use a crossing lasso that selects all objects that simply touch the green area created. If you drag from the right to the left, you will use a window lasso that selects just all objects that are fully contained inside the blue area. You can quickly undo all selections done by using the escape key. There are lots of options that can personalize your current tool enabled. For example, while you draw, there is a dialog box besides your pointer. If you use your down arrow key, you will open its options inside that do change depending on the tool you are using. Through the up and the down arrow keys, you choose in this list and use the enter key to apply. So, if you draw a polyline, you can go to arc to draw an arc instead of a straight line. If you draw a rectangle, you can fix it by defining area or any length. Something that's also very important in AutoCAD is the command line at the very bottom. This is used to apply and launch commands quickly with your keyboard only. For example, if you type A, the command line shows you the full list of AutoCAD commands that start with such letter. So, you can choose with your down and up arrow keys and use Enter key to apply. If you type and choose Rectangle, you will enable the Rectangle tool. Plus, while using a tool, the command line shows you the same extra options seen before in the dialog box close to your pointer. Such commands have some letters in blue. This means that if you type such letters and use Enter key, you will enable the option related to such letter in the command line. While you draw, 
AutoCAD shows you side length and angle measurements in preview. If you need to fix a precise measurement, you can type directly from your keyboard and use Enter to apply. To enable the latest tool used, use the Enter key. To enable an older tool used, use your up and down arrow keys and use Enter to apply. Let's see all you need to know to check and preview your project in progress. Use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To move around, enable the pan tool on the extreme right and click and drag. Finish with escape. To rotate your point of view, you can go on the extreme right on the rotate buttons in the top right corner of the 3D view cube. You can check your point of view through the gizmo system in the bottom left corner. This represents the Cartesian system of the project. The x-axis for the horizontal direction in red and the y-axis for the vertical direction in green. If you click on the gizmo, you can use the squared node to move it and the other ones to rotate it. This will rotate the grid but not the objects in your workspace. Once your project is finished, save it, going to the AutoCAD icon in the top left corner and then to Save As. These are saved in a .wg format and can be opened in a future session of AutoCAD. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our full guide to learn all you need to know to become advanced in AutoCAD 2017.